Hi, this is Amar from SSLtrust.com Australia and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the Vesta Control Panel or Vesta CP. So let's get started. As you can see we're on the server and dashboard here, the Vesta CP dashboard and this is the domain name that we're looking to secure. As you can see our connection is not yet secure to this site and we're going to change this in a bit so stay tuned. Head back over to the dashboard and click on this web button here. Once you're done with that scroll down to your hosted domain name and we're going to click on this edit button here. Scroll down again and uh, you'll see an option called SSL support. Make sure you check it and keep this window open. Scroll down again and click on this button here, Generate CSR. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of general info before we proceed. So a CSR or a customer sign-in request is nothing but a request which is initiated by you, uh, the client, to the certificate authority, which in this case, whatever your certificate authority is, whoever issues your certificate, uh, which contains all necessary information such as your domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So now we're going to proceed and fill these details up. So type in your domain name here and your email. We're going to use for this, for this video your two letter country code the state your city and your organization's name even if uh, you are not an organization you just uh, you just uh, can type in your domain name such as ssl guides or whatever and we can proceed so we're going to click on OK. So our, C our CSR has been generated. And what we're going to do is copy this from the very start to the very end. And we're going to click on Copy. And keep this window open. So now we're going to head over to our, our, our certificate provider from where we bought the certificate and input these details and configure our SSL certificate. We're going to now head over to sltrust.com.au and we're going to configure our certificate here. So if you want an SSL certificate, uh, this is the best place to get it because you get it at cheaper prices than you would from uh, them buying directly and you get uh, best all round uh, support and we'll help you out with your installation or just advise you on the certificate that you might want to get for your business. And there are lots of options such as a standard SSL, a business verified SSL, there are wildcard SSL certificates in which you can secure subdomains and multi-domain certificates if you have a lot of domain names and you want to secure them all under one certificate. This is your go-to option. So now I'm going to show you how you can purchase one. So we're going to go with a standard SSL certificate for our website. And we're going to go with the cheapest option for now, a Commodore Positive SSL. This is a quick and easy SSL uh, secure solution, security solution, which uh, we get in 90 additional days with SSL Plus. And we're going to buy this for one year. So you can click on Buy SSL. So this is going to cost you about 10.8 US dollars per year. Type in, uh, we don't have a promo code yet. And you can check out, click on check out here, type in all your details, your billing and ship, uh, billing address, and you can uh, purchase the certificate from any of these options. And you can click on complete order. Once you're done with that, you might uh, want to head over to your dashboard. We've already purchased one, so we're going to not, not uh, going to fill our billing details in again. So we are going with the Sectigo Positive SSL for one year for this video. And I'm going to show you how you can submit your certificate configuration. So we're going to cl click on this button here.
Okay, so scroll down and paste in your copied CSR as it is with the dashes. And we're going to click on verify CSR now. So if your information shows up right, then we could go. This is our info. Server type we're going to select um, is there's no option for Vesta CP, so we're going to go with other. And we can click on next step. So fill in all the details here. Your name, last name, and your email address. So if uh, you're the admin uh, buying this certificate and you want to send this over to a technical contact, uh, make sure you fill in his or her details here. Otherwise, we're going to use admin details for this one. And we're going to click on next step. So now comes the important part or the domain control validation. Now you have to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your dom domain name and have complete access to it. So there are three types of validation methods. The first one is email. Uh, which is probably the easiest one. You need to have one of uh, these five addresses on which uh, you'll be sent an email with a confirmation link. Once you open that, your domain will be successfully validated. The second option is HTTP file. So what this option does is you will have to manually access uh, your website via FTP and navigate to this very directory as mentioned here and create a file uh, with this name. A text file then you're gonna uh, have to open the text file and paste in these contents here and wait for uh, domain validation to happen pretty soon and the next the third method or we're gonna use yeah, or the easiest one for us in this case is the CNAME record uh, validation method so what we're gonna do is just copy this uh, the CNAME record here click on copy and head over to your domain name provider wherever you've purchased the domain name from in this case is uh, in our case it's domain square i'm going to log in click on domains this is our domain name and head over to your dns settings with whatever provider you uh, you have for your domain name so we're going to click on add record a cnm record and we're going to click on add and paste that record here which we just copied the subdomain and we're going to do the same for the next the, the pointing to value click on copy head back over and paste it here and click on update so head back to your certificate configuration and you're going to see an option called check dns record here we're going to click on this so as you can see, our DNS record has not propagated yet in any space. So this should uh, on average take about a few minutes. So keep coming back here to check if your record has propagated through the DNS service. And just keep coming back here. Once you're done with that, uh, we're going to head back over to our certificate configuration and you can submit it for now. We can, we're going to click on this. okay it looks like our configuration was a success this is our order number and we're awaiting validation so you can click here to access the validation manager so this is it uh, this is uh, once uh, your DNS record has propagated this should automatically automatically turn green otherwise you can keep coming here click on this uh, choose your method of validation in our case, it's a CNAME CSR hash, and you can click on submit in case this is not done automatically. And if you ever lost, you can head back over to the SSL Trust dashboard, click on your certificate you've purchased, and you can always access your validation manager from clicking here again. Okay, so we're gonna wait a bit for the, this DNS record to propagate. Okay. So we're back after a few minutes and it looks like our DNS records have propagated and our certificate was issued. And this should be good enough. We're good to go. So we're going to close this up. And head over to the SSL Trust dashboard. 
and we can as we can see our certificate has been issued and we're going to click on this button here collect or download certificate okay so now we're going to move on to install our certificate so what we can do is head over to the first box which is contains our certificate in text form we're going to click on copy the clipboard on this one and we're going to head back over to the window we've left open on the dashboard the first one and we're going to paste it here as we've copied it the second window which contains your ssl private key the private key and we're going to click on copy and paste it here okay the third one's a tricky part on Vesta cp so the certificate authority or the intermediate certificate the ca bundle one as it is called you uh, must make sure that you install you try to uh, input this here so so that when people access your site uh, they are not displayed with browser security warnings on your website that your web connection is not secure. so we're going to move on to do this so we can come back here to our intermediate certificate um, generally you can copy and copy this to your clipboard directly and paste it there but in the case of Vesta CP I've tried this a dozen times but this chain does not work the second one works so what, what we're going to do is scroll down to the second intermediate certificate and make sure that where this ends and this begins you copy the second one from where it begins oh sorry and up to the end as it is we're going to click on copy and we're going to paste it here and click on save so this is the only way that works if you try doing it for the whole version this will not work on Vesta cp i do not know why that is but uh we're going to move on to check if our website is secure go to https double slash ssl your domain name dot com okay and our website looks uh secure now our connection is secure to the site our certificate was successfully installed so one more thing you can do is once you're done with this and your website is secure you can go to a website called ssllabs.com and you can test your uh, site certificate conf and configuration you can input your oh sorry you can input your host name here and copy your domain name with the https and paste it here and we're going to click on submit so we're going to wait a bit now for this to be analyzed okay so the test is complete and we've got an overall rating of a and everything looks strong if we scroll down we can see that tls protocols are 1.2 and 1.3 are enabled and pretty much everything looks good so basically if, go, if you've got an a rating everything is good to go your site is super secure you can carry out transactions store information or your set now there is some further optional configuration and troubleshooting uh, mentioned in, a, in our written guide in the description you can always check it out such as uh, disabling older versions of TLS to get an A rating on your SSL labs test and forcing HTTPS redirects and uh, choosing which version of your site to display to your users um, you can always uh, access the very direct directories and make changes to them via FTP or ACSH. All commands are listed out in our video guide, so make sure you check it out. So this was a video to explain you how you can easily install an SSL certificate on your website through the Western Control Panel. So if you if this video helped you out, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And if you ever need installation support, you can always reach out to our support team at sslcluster.com.au. Until next time then.